That's nice. Hi folks, welcome back to the kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be making some chicken liver pate. I know, it's not even Christmas, but here we go. I've got this fantastic book by Jane Grigson. It's called Charcuterie and French Pork Cookery. First published in <clears throat> when I was a lad. Uh, less said about that, the better, eh? Right, and um, this recipe, I spoke to the publishers, uh, Grub, Grub Street Publishing? Yeah, Grub Street Publishing. Uh, just out of interest, this book was first published in 1967, and if any of you are interested, I was five, stroke six. Anyway, that's by the by. Now, they said very kindly that I could use three recipes from this book and feature them on the YouTube channel. And I just thought, you know what? Chicken liver pate, that is a really popular piece of charcuterie that I think most people would enjoy. So, I'll post that recipe on the channel so you can see that. It'll be in the description as well. I'll, I'll do a full account of that recipe so you can, you can have that for your records. And before we actually make it, let's just go through the ingredients. So if you come down here, I've got some chicken livers. Now these have been washed. There's a pound of chicken livers there. Eww. Splashing them everywhere. That's about 450 grams. I have a small glass of brandy, a slightly larger glass of Harvey's Bristol Cream Sherry. I've got 100 grams of butter here, and this is no ordinary butter, so I'm, I have deviated from the recipe slightly. This is 100 grams of the smoked butter we did in a previous video. If you're interested in knowing how to smoke, cold smoke that butter, check out the video, link in the description. We have one large clove of garlic, sliced. When I saute the um, livers, I'm gonna be taking the edge off that uh, bit of garlic there, uh, raw garlic in a pate, I find is a little bit too uh, harsh. So we're just gonna be warming that through in the pan to take away some of that harshness. I have some fresh thyme from the garden, some margarine, dried, and some dried basil. And another departure from the uh, recipe as stated by Jane Grigson in the book is a half a teaspoon of mace and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Uh, and the other things I think are just salt and some nice freshly ground black pepper. Right, that's the ingredients. Let's make the pate. First things first, I'm going to melt about half the butter, 50 grams over a medium heat. I'm going to be using the remaining butter later on in the video. I'm sautéing the chicken livers in batches as I can't fit them all in the pan at once. This is an important point as overloading the pan reduces the heat and you'll just end up boiling your livers instead of frying them off. When you're frying the livers it's important not to overcook them. Leaving them a little pink is fine but you don't want them dripping blood. Remember pink is good, grey is not so good. Ideally I'm looking to achieve a nice colour on the outside of the liver whilst leaving the centre pink. Right, these are now done to perfection and they can come out of the pan. Gas off. Garlic in. No one wants raw garlic in their pate. This is just wrong on so many levels. Taking the edge off the garlic for me is an important step as raw garlic can be far too dominant in the finished pate. Add the brandy and the sherry and bring the heat back up to evaporate the alcohol. Just getting the harshness from the alcohol. Oh blimey, that smells very boozy. <laughs> very boozy indeed. <laughs> oh yes. So these are our lovely juices. They're nice, they're nice. Okay, it's now time to melt the remaining 50 grams of butter. I'm gonna be using this at the end of the video after I put the pate in the ramekins. Right, it's now time to bring all these ingredients together. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the liquid into the blender, let this cool down 
for just a short period of time. Into that, we're going to put our herbs and spices. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt. Lashings of ground black pepper. And we'll put the lid back in here and we'll put our chicken livers in as we go. Right, let's have a look and see how we go. I think we did splash corn a bit up the sides then, so I'll try and get that back in there. Incorporate as much of that as possible. Now this will firm up as it begins to set. But look, we've got that lovely, lovely sort of mousse-like texture there. That's still a bit grainy. Oh man, that tastes amazing. Right, this is gonna need blitzing for a little bit longer. So, let's get on with it. gone quiet over there. All right, let's taste this now. And I'm kind of looking more for the texture than anything else. I want it to be quite fine. Just a little bit of, oh, that's amazing. So it's like silky smooth, but with the occasional little, occasional little bit of graininess in it. And that's for me, that's absolutely spot on. That's nice. Right, let's get this put in some ramekins. Well, we've done the chicken liver pate and I have to say, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I've already had a little nibble, but it is such a beautiful pate, very delicate, nice and smooth. I've just popped some on some toast here. And um, the smokiness of that butter comes right through. And then you've got the richness of the brandy and the sherry and that gorgeous sort of irony liver flavour coming through. Beautiful. What a fantastic starter. I highly recommend this. So, all the details are in the description and um, you can just put some foil lids on these, stick them in the fridge. You can even freeze this down. This freezes really well because there's virtually no water in it. <clears throat> oh, the pepper. There's a little pepper finish on that. That's really nice. <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to polish this off all by myself. And, um, well, no, I'm going to have to share it with Mrs. Cold Smoking, to be fair. And uh, I'll uh, see you on the next one. Take care, folks. All right, bye.